You, you define, define me, me, my love. love. It's all right. I know you tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for you. you. I, I want, want you, you to be there, there when... when... <coughs> you are right here. here. So, so nice. nice. Alive! I thought I was all alone again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this. Can you 
drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Said that was a true hero. And that he saved us all. But then he shot the ball, bam, right with him in the eyes. Then we got to the river. There were these worms and deep water, so he carried me on the shoulders.
careful. I don't get how he's even alive. Artur, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes on the scale. <laughs> Hold on, Artur. You fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <laughs> Emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? AB positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Arthur. <laughs> you can't go to sleep now. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this... You'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Yeah. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiance is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom, Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. I do. I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her, now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. 
a really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? Hmm? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. Careful. I don't get how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the Colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. You fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. You can't go to sleep now. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? There's just not enough of us left. Not enough. Artyom, please. Please, don't leave me. I don't need any medicine. At this price. Yes, I will live now. But what good is life without you? Stop it. Don't say such things, Anna. You saved her, Artyom. You did save her. It was not for nothing. She will leave. Don't you get this? That's true. Oh. Oh. That's it? He can't give anymore, can't you see? We're all out of blood. Anna, you really should rest. My dad is gone. 
Don't leave me too, Artyom. <laughs> me? It's me, Eugene, from the exhibition. And to think I've been waiting here. Some best friend you are. from the exhibition, dreaming of one day remembering the face of his mother. Was that why you opened the airlock at the botanical gardens? Look at you now. I'll be returning to the metro soon. But you... The sun never rises here, Artyom. You can't stop this train. Can't ever get off it. There are not stations in this world. He who has enough courage and patience to stare into the darkness for his entire life shall be the first to see the flash of light. Remember that? Why then? Not enough patience? So what if there are no stations here? Who'd want to stop anyway? <laughs> Come on, you hunk of iron. Pick up some speed. We'll shake this place up. Make all the dead look alive. Well, it is time for me to leave. And you... Tell everyone I said I. I'll give your regards to whoever I see back home. Forget him. Come, I'm making you chief mate. We're in for a long voyage. An eternal one. I'm going to need some help. So what are you waiting for? An apology? Not likely to happen, Arkham. Everyone does what he must. A soldier's duty is to shoot the enemy, not ask questions. You did what you could. I did what I could. And we did it all right. We gave it all. Let the living sort out the rest. Hey, what's that? This is weird. The first time I saw anything like that here. Uh, look, how about we try to stop this thing, huh? Uh, give me a hand. Come on! Oh. 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 Well, Artyom, go take a look. You can leave the ship for now.
not fair. We found a place to be happy, and now you leave? We couldn't have the life we dreamed of. But you went and gave up everything for me. I hate you for that. I hate to see you go. I hate to stay here alone. But I will. Because I love you. I love you so much. Goodbye, Artyom. <laughs>